we hello we are all now finally set up ready to go i guess that's the easy part for you guys so all you gotta do is watch we do all the hard work site number seven we got uh, backed in pretty easily got a little tree here might be able to swing a hammock across here or from there the the pole there i don't know we'll see um probably can even go across that we'll see show you the opposite side here you got you gotta be careful if you get pop out on this side of slide we were pretty close to this there's a tree over here we were pretty close to a little finagling and uh everything worked out just great it's a little uh we pushed further back into the site so we can get our whole rig on here uh with our truck and not to park it somewhere else so it's time to kick back and relax only around here in texas can you had to run your heater overnight and in the morning and then your ac in the afternoon a little windy right now cat tent with no cats in it. it's trying to blow away but it's nice to chill relax not like getting dirt kicked up in your eyes you might need to get my sunglasses hey we found a prairie dog we found a couple back in the back on the other side of the road but He's just hanging out. Boom shakalaka. Got the three hammocks up. We still actually have two more hammocks in the box, but um, I don't know how often they'll use these because it's um, warm right now. It's like 80 something. So it's supposed to be down in the 50s tonight. So we'll be able to turn off the air, maybe open the windows. Feel nice. I don't know, tomorrow we'll talk about hitting one of the trails, um, especially one that we didn't get the last time we were here. I definitely uh, need to take a look at uh, our splitter that we use for the water. It's dripping, it's leaking. I put a new washer in it. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not holding. Splitters are pretty inexpensive. I can just go to the store and grab them, so probably end up doing that sometime soon who we are doing pulled pork tonight and it's from the last time when i smoked it at home and man you can smell it through that stove vent like i'm standing outside right here and it, uh, i can smell it oh it smells so good can't wait you know believe it or not this tree right here has provided us some pretty good shade on our slide on this side i've been pretty impressed through the day since we've been here since two that um, how well it's shaded us so that's something to keep in mind here for site number seven a little bit of a sunset i bet it's really pretty if you go down where the uh, tent camping area primitive camping area is and uh, have that canyon and all that but it looks really nice down there i'll have to explore that another time the windy morning good windy morning out um we are gonna head to palo duro take a drive up there and uh we wanted to stop at the coffee shop again and uh because we liked it the last time love looking at all the nicky knack things they have that you can buy pretty cool yeah we started i don't even think we're halfway down stop and use the restroom but uh definitely i agree with what uh, some people were saying online <sighs> definitely not big rig friendly he said well turkey there look at that i don't know if you could see him ha. you know something about the camera just doesn't do the sight any justice but it's beautiful rock garden trail i think is where we're at so I thought it might be kind of fun. I could be wrong. Don't know anything about nothing around here. Okay. I climbed a rock to get this view. Don't 
think I'd want to fall down there. First time we've done it indoors, but we did our pizza. Instead of on the black stone. Good. Turned out crispy. This one did. We Viola wanted to do mac and cheese pizza. So we brought the stuff for that. We had leftover pork, so we did pulled pork. And uh, it's not too bad. And then uh, in our little tiny oven, cooking one at a time. So it's better than sitting outside battling the wind for the Blackstone version. Ah, nothing like pancakes and bacon in the morning before we take a walk. They are actually going to do, let me get back. Uh, so they're doing like a, another guided walk, um, but not like the last time we were here. It's a little different. So we're gonna go check that out. Hopefully it'll be a good one again. Yeah, they would burn it. So bison poop, I ask you guys not to do this with any of the bison poop you find because we'll just leave it to fertilize our land. Um, but what they would do is they would burn it. So this is very similar to charcoal. Um, now that's what uh, we just learned they call a bachelor bison. So it tends to be the older ones that are kind of kicked out of the herd and on their own. So it's pretty neat right before our information that we trail that we took. Is actually one that was basically created by the bison. Um, and so it was kind of neat learning more about that. There we go. Not the herd, but definitely love it. This is the wild horse trail. So we've been on it for a little ways, but um, you can definitely tell. Nice and open. We've seen a few paths that probably have been made by the bison stuff but uh it's just kind of different view different look at the canyon area it's kind of nice yeah i, I had a uh, alligator incident again <laughs> but this time uh, with the bison um back here please amber it's getting close baby North Prong Spur Trail. We abandoned the horse, wild horse trail. Too flat. <laughs> too, not necessarily too flat, but um, we kind of want to be a little bit closer. We did this trail last time, but uh, we're not going to do a lot of it, just uh, enough to get us up and moving around. I think we're coming up upon the intersection here soon. Just not quite sure yet. Oh. Ha! Ah, nice. Look at that, right there. Well, down the herd, this is uh, getting up towards the front prairie area. I think we're right across from the old check-in place, so we're by the speed bumps. And just kind of hanging out. You can see some way out in that distance there. I had no idea this playground was back here. This is back by the group picnic, no, shelter area? The group day shelter use. day use area is right behind me on the other side. But um, this is definitely a lot nicer than the one over by the RV set, the, uh, sites that we're at. But um, yeah, if you're looking for a playground, take a little drive. Come let's kids play. Let's see if I can still <sighs> toss the bags. Ugh. Ho ho.
Not bad. Ah, someone wanted to help us with dinner. What are we doing? Um, talk to us, but like this. So we are doing the big quesadillas. Mm -hmm. Quesadilla a la grande. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we found it's better to make things stick together. So we put one flap, the first flap here. Well, we usually do beans and then the meat here. So when you fold that, it sticks a little bit better. And then we're going to do cheese, and then that one flips over the top uh, for the last bit of cheese. Are right, you good? Yep. Yeah? Okay, so let's flip this. Got to be careful the meat will fall out. Good. And then that one goes up and over the top, just like that. Okay. Yeah, after that tough Iowa loss in the Big Ten tournament, it's time for the fire. Let's get this going on. Well, it is uh, Friday, last full day here. I don't think we're gonna get much out of it. Probably here, that wind. So, um, it's also supposed to rain here in a little bit. I'm gonna go around, maybe it won't be as windy over here. Yeah, it's quiet. Uh, I've already started kind of tearing things down outside. Amber and I thought we figured, okay, if it's gonna rain, let's get it put away so we don't have to deal with it later. Uh, it being wet, I mean, it went from 20% to, to 95, which is good. I, I don't like the rain, but it's good for the area. I know it needs it. So we're just kind of putting everything away that we can, and all the chairs are going to be put away here soon. And I just broke out the outdoor toys, and I really had to put those away. <sighs> all right. Well, we were hoping to hit a trail today. I don't know if that'll happen. We haven't done this one that's right at the end over here by the Honey Flat uh, Camping Loop, which is where we are. Um, kind of wanted to check that out, but um, if it rains, it'll be muddy. So I really don't want to do it in the mud. It's like, feels like 40 right now. Well, here, yeah. cold out, working time for chili. We didn't plan it that way, but... Worked out great for us. It ended it that way. We were supposed to do tacos tonight, but we did that last night. Viola, the cat whisperer. <laughs> Three cats the she the two. girl cat whisperer. Yes, the girl cat whisperer. From a long day of doing nothing, it's finally time to eat our chili. And biscuits. And biscuits. Yes, we did nothing today. We watched a couple movies while it rained. My God.